see dead body we discuss uh, how to put in a photography so after proper aseptic precaution place the baby naked under uh, under the incubator person need to cover the eye and uh, distance between the 40 by right to no 1.1 1.1 and half feet is a 40 by centimeter and uh, frequent monitoring temperature and sugar of the baby so next slide and frequent extra breastfeeding turn the baby after each feeding prevent the gg flux need to regular temperature recording weight recording to look for the urine output and uh, ideally if not a respective we can monitor that we see them below uh, frequently 6 uh, 24 hour only or in some case we might need to do the monitoring of the belly rub next one so the key point in the practical execution of the photography the infant should be naked except for the diaper and eye to be covered distance between the skin and light source to be about 25 cm when use a spotlight infant is placed in the center now there is there led lights coming on that is fine and uh, if baby is not breastfeeding and if baby is on eye fluid we need to increase to 10 10% extra fluid of the phototherapy and uh, timing of follow up the serum bilirubin needs uh, to be checked frequently according to need to respect next one see this is a phototherapy before and after sometimes they become brown bronze to we can see the bronze baby syndrome next one side effects i said the insensible water loss loose tool skin rashes bronze baby syndrome hyperthermia upset maternal baby infection mom or it can interfere with the bonding with the mom and baby and sometimes it may result with a hypotension next one so extent transfusion mostly extent transfusion we need a little abio incompatibility uh, rh isomerization and the g6pd so which type of blood we can use it abio quality so we need we need to use the o blood group with the same rh type ideal o cell in the suspended ab plasma okay uh, means mother is a o and father jb is a a or b so we need to use a o only with a a or b negative plasma rh isomerization obviously in emergency we can use o negative or ideal o negative with suspended in the ab plasma for baby's blood group but rh negative so plasma should be baby baby's blood group but it should be negative with rh and the with o negative o blood group the mom so in the rh is a very uh, see the it is a very what i can say that a very specialized content okay which type of blood it do like in which it requires a lot of hematological concept so basically is thing is that uh, abo and rh incompatibility for the abo we can use o blood group plus plasma of the a ab plasma so which is maybe baby is a or b the rh is isolated isomerization means mother is a rh negative and father is a rh positive or baby is a rh positive so in emergency if we don't get anything we can use blindly o negative and in case of we get blood so in the it should be a rh negative blood to be used as a extent transfusion according to mother's so sometimes which drug can modify the so this phenobarbital are when used to in the past and as it can induce the uh, conjugation process and may help in some syndrome metalloporphyrin it inhibits the some enzymes ivig ivig is the sometime in the rh incompatibility and isomerization it is basically immune reaction which which is leading the uh hemolysis so we are giving ivig so that ivig can decrease the counter the immunological reaction and decrease the hemolysis sometimes uh, in uh, uh, severe jaundice we give albumin transfusion to prevent the blood transfusion transfusion because albumin is a capacity to bind the input uh bilirubin and which leads to the decrease permeability with the blood brain barrier and so it is a, again it is a decreasing chances of the conductors 
oral agaric pollution is holistic. So conductive is mentioned that uh, so it basically uh, accumulation of bilirubin in the basal ganglia and the uh, bilirubin which is not bound to albumin uh, can lead to the uh, connectors. Let next one. So there are all some pathological jaundice causes. Very uh, jaundice is not a pathological jaundice. There is some wrong answer in the slides. Okay, but uh, prolonged jaundice. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The prolonged jaundice. The Grigler Nasal syndrome, which is again the enzyme deficiency. Breast milk jaundice again I mean, so is because of paternal substance, which lead to the uh, which lead to the uh, decreasing conjugation process. Hypothyroidism, pyloric stenosis, maybe because of dehydration, ongoing hemolysis, malaria, or sepsis, urinary infection, some metabolic causes, which has a prolonged jaundice, but it, these are the causes of the prolonged indirect jaundice. Where the insert is a pre -hepatic. Okay, now, now the problem post uh, uh, direct on this Mr. Conjugate baby. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Uh, so, first of all, let's see when to suspect a conjugated hyperbilirubinemia. So, white during white tool, white stool. Always remember. And uh, Always refer to the hospital for investigation so that a biliary atresia or metabolic disorder can be diagnosed and managed. So, as we discussed, uh, when you suspect a conjugate bilirubinemia, means the serum bilirubin direct component is more than 2 mg per kg, or, or the clinical sign is a high color urine or white color urine or white color stool. So, then the white color stool and high color urine is a very non, very unspecific clinical sign. So, better we go for the a bilirubin level, if it is a more than 2 mg per deciliter direct bilirubin, so we always need to perform the scan and check the blood sugar level to the rule out biliary atresia and to rule out some sort of high metabolic disorder for the timely management. That is the key to the practice. Next one. So, causes of the idiopathic neural hepatitis, again, it is diagnosed with exclusion. Uh, with regular treatment, is made of the child can be recovered. Hepatitis infection, torch infection, sepsis, hepatitis B, biliary atresia, polydocalysis, these are important identified and metabolic disorder, galactosemia, gyrosinemia. Total parental nutrition can cause conjugal bilirubinemia. So these are the all these things. Next one. Yeah. So we have tried to discuss brief all about the newborn jaundice, which is a physiological causes, pathological causes, in the pathological causes, that is a Direct bilirubin is indirect bilirubin and the total sort of uh, what kind of management we can offer.